Medicines and Infectious Diseases Unit 1.5 Germs Germs are microorganisms, especially one which causes diseases. Infect Infect means to affect a person, organism or anything else with a disease-causing organism. And it also means to contaminate. It can contaminate air, water, etc. with harmful organisms. Example, the water was infected by cholera. Infectious disease. Infectious disease. In medicine, it's a process caused by an agent, often a type of microorganism that impairs a person's health. In many cases, infectious disease can be spread from person to person, either directly, example via skin contact, or indirectly, example via contaminated water or food. Instructions. It means a direction or order. Medicines. The science or practice of the diagnosis, treatment and prevention of diseases. Prevent. Prevent means to stop someone from doing something. Vaccination. It is a treatment with a vaccine to produce immunity against a disease. Medicines. We take medicines to help make us better when we have an illness. Some medicines stop us from getting ill. We can say that these medicines prevent us from getting ill. Taking medicines safely. Medicines make us better. But we have to take them safely and properly. You should only take medicines if they are given to you by a doctor, a nurse or an adult who looks after you. The instructions tell you how much medicine you must take and how often you should take. We must always follow these instructions. How we take medicines. We take medicines in different ways. We take some medicines as injections. Some injections can stop or prevent us from getting illness, such as measles or flu. These injections are called vaccinations. Medicine through drip. We breathe in medicines from inhalers for asthma and other breathing problems. We use creams and ointments to stop insect bites, itching, and for skin problems. People who are very sick in hospitals often get their medicines directly into their blood through a drip. Questions Why do we take medicines? We take medicines to get well. Predict what you think would happen if you did not take all the medicine the doctor gave you. If your doctor prescribed antibiotics for a bacterial infection, it's crucial to complete the entire course, even if you start feeling better early. Here's why. Antibiotics are powerful drugs designed to kill bacteria. If you stop taking them prematurely, some bacteria may survive and become resistant to the antibiotic. This can make future infections harder to treat. So, even if you're feeling better, Finish the entire prescribed course to ensure effective treatment. Do you think we can use cream as a medicine for a sore throat? Say why or why not? Answer. While ointments are typically not recommended for treating sore throats, let's explore why. Purpose. Ointments are primarily topical treatments meant for external use on the skin. They are not designed for internal use in the throat. Ingestion risk. Ingesting ointments can be harmful, especially if they contain ingredients not intended for consumption. Some ointments may contain substances that could irritate the throat or cause adverse reactions.
Why do you think people in hospital often get their medicine through a drip? Answer. Certainly, people in hospital often receive medication through intravenous IV drips for several reasons. Immediate effect. IV administration allows medications to enter the bloodstream directly by passing the digestive system. This results in faster absorption and a more rapid onset of action. For critical conditions or emergencies such as severe infections or dehydration, IV medications are essential. Infectious diseases an infectious disease is a disease that is caused by very tiny living things we call germs. The germs affect your body. This means germs infect your body to make you ill. We take medicines to kill the germs that infect our bodies. People, animals and plants can all have infectious diseases. Flu, measles, and malaria are some infectious diseases that humans have. Infectious diseases in plants can harm the different parts of the plant. Leaf blast can also kill rice plants. Bird flu is an infectious disease that infects birds, humans, and other animals. Almost all birds that get bird flu die. Bird flu spreads easily from sick birds to the healthy birds. The farmer in the picture is checking the chicken for signs of bird flu. Many farmers give vaccinations to their chickens, geese and ducks to prevent them from getting bird flu. Questions Say in your own words what an infectious disease is. Disease which spreads from one person to another is known as infectious disease. Why do you think the farmer in the picture wore gloves when he was checking the chickens for the sign of bird flu? The farmer wears gloves while checking the chicken for signs of bird flu to prevent transmission. How can a farmer prevent the chicken from getting bird flu? Certainly. While it's not possible to 100% prevent chickens from contracting bird flu, there are several good biosecurity and preventative measures that farmers can take to protect their flock. Restrict wild birds. Keeping wild birds away from the chickens is crucial. Wild birds can carry the virus and transmit it to domestic poultry. Implement measures to discourage wild birds from mingling with your flock. Maintain cleanliness. Regularly clean and tidy the coop area. Remove any spill feed promptly as it can attract wild birds. Proper sanitation helps reduce the risk of disease transmission. Avoid sharing equipment. Do not share the equipment such as feeders, waterers or tools with other flocks. Contaminated equipment can introduce the virus to healthy birds. Limit visitors. Set a limit on visitors and visits to your farm. Minimize unnecessary contact with outsiders to prevent potential disease spread. Avoid introducing new chickens. Refrain from introducing new chickens into your existing flock during an outbreak. Quarantine new birds and monitor their health before integrating them.